Okay, so today we're going to add and subtract fractions. And one of the things about adding and subtracting fractions is that the denominators have to be the same. When you're adding, you have, or subtracting for that matter, they have to be the same size pieces. You can't add or subtract different size pieces. So you've got to figure out a way using equivalent fractions to make them all the same. If you start off in your problem, and let's say your problem starts out, and it's already, so let's say you're, you're starting your problem, and your problem starts out, and it's already like one-fourth. Oh, it's not working here. Hold on a second. There it goes. Um, and if we start off, say, one-fifth plus two-fifths. This is very easy to add because the same denominator is on the bottom. We know that they're fifth pieces. So if I have a chocolate bar and I've cut it into five pieces and I have one piece and then I gave, you know, two more pieces. So I gave you one piece and then I gave you two more pieces. How many pieces would you have? Well, it should make sense that you have three one-fifth pieces, right? If I took that same chocolate bar or pie or pizza or anything that's not even edible, if we did yards of ribbon, and I cut it up into, say, let's do um, seventh pieces. And I start off with, say, three sevenths. And I use one of my sevenths, so I subtract one seventh away. We keep the same size pieces, so they're still seventh size pieces. We just got to subtract the top numbers or the numerator. So three minus one, which is two. So if they're already the same size, same size pieces, then it's super easy to do. We just got to add or subtract um, the top numbers. The problems come when it is not the same size pieces and it becomes like you have to make them the same size pieces. And I'll show you that in the next problems. All right, so the method we're going to use is called the four square method. And it looks like this. Um, just draw a line, kind of like a coordinate grid where it's divided into four quadrants. We're going to use four squares. So each there's something going to be happening in each of these squares. The idea behind this is that if you put something in each of these squares and you get used to the same pattern, you're never going to forget the steps. Now, eventually, you're going to get where you don't need this, and that's okay. But for now, as you're starting off, it's a great way to keep track of every step that you do and keep track of making sure you get all parts of these problems. All right. So at the top of your paper, go ahead and write this four square down. And we can go ahead and label each part of this. So in our very first square, um, and as usual, go ahead and pause the pro, uh, program or the, the video whenever you need to write ahead of me. Or if you need to work ahead of me, feel free to do whatever you need to do. And then come back to it. So in this first square, this is where we write the problem. So we're just writing the problem. Over here, we are going to use our knowledge of least common multiples. Or when we do fractions, we're going to call it the least common denominator. So that LCD, the denominator coming in there. Because we want to make them the same size pieces. Um, down here, we're going to find equivalent fractions. Notice these are skills we just did not too long ago. Least common multiple and equivalent fractions. And over here in the bottom, we're going to solve and simplify if needed. Today, we're not going to be doing any um, problems that have to re be required to simplify. Um, they're already going to be in simplest terms. Hopefully, if um, is the idea, so that way we can very quickly um, save that for a few days from now. All right, so let's start off with our very first problem. Um, and in this problem, let's do one. Let's do, and we'll write it up here, three-eighths plus one-fourth. So there's our problem. And that's all you have to do in the first box is just write the problem. All right, easy. Over here in the second box, we've got to find the LCM, so least common multiple, or the least common denominator. We can't add these if they're eighth pieces and fourth pieces. We need to have them the exact same size pieces in order to add them together. So we need to find which number is the smallest number that they have in common. So some of you are already going to see this, and you're going to be able just to write whatever it is here. Other uh, people are going to need to write a list. So let's um, start off by writing a list. So we have our fours and we have our eights. So make a list. My multiples of four. Four, eight, 12, 16, so on. Eight, 16. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need to keep going on. I have one. 
What is the smallest number that they both share? Hopefully you guys see this eight. So the least common multiple or the least common denominator will be eight. So we can change all of these into eighth pieces and then we can add them. And that's what we do down here in the bottom. So this square is where we find equivalent fractions. So we're going to start off with that. We'll just rewrite our problem. Three eighths. I'm going to write it vertically go this time. Plus one fourth. Now, if we're changing these to eighth pieces, the coolest part about this first one is that it's already an eighth pieces. We don't have to do anything. All right, three eighths. Done. But I do need to set an equivalent fraction here. And I have to think it to myself. How do I get from four to eight? Do I multiply or divide? Well, I'm going to multiply. And I'm going to multiply by two because four times two is eight. And at this point, you know that whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So one times two is two. We've made equivalent fractions. Now, over here is where we solve it. So our new problem is this right here that we just made. Okay, so this is our new problem that we just made. So we now have 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. And just like we did up above um, earlier, look, they're the same size pieces. They're going to be eighth pieces. That's what size they are. And then all we've got to do if we have 3 1 eighth pieces plus 2 1 eighth pieces, we have 5 eighths pieces. And that is our answer. And so as you can tell, there's a lot of different little steps involved, but these are the main steps right here. So writing the problem, finding the least common multiple or least common denominator, making them equivalent fractions, and then of course, solving the problem as needed and then finding out the answer. All right, hopefully it's not too it's clear as not maybe completely mud, but a little bit, maybe still a little bit murky. So let's do a few more problems to see where you're at. All right, let's go ahead and try a, another one. And in this next problem, you can do this on the bottom of your page if you'd like. Um, let's try two thirds. Okay, so again, let's try two thirds plus one six. Okay. Again, we need to find, so we're writing the problem. Done. That whole first box is done. Over here, we're finding the least common multiple or least common denominator. And what is our denominator? So we have three and we have six. Some of you are going to already see which one is going to be, what's going to be the least common denominator. Um, so three, six, nine, six, twelve. Already see it. What number do you notice on both rows? So which multiple is the smallest multiple that they have in common? If you had six, then you're good to go. Okay. If you already saw that this was six before you had to do the list, all you have to do is come up here and just write the number six. All right. So that way, either way works um, as long as you get the least common denominator. Down here, we're going to find equivalent fractions. So let's go ahead and set these up to equivalent fractions. So I have two thirds. And again, I'm writing them um, vertical because it makes it easier to add or put my equivalent fractions. Okay, we're going to set these uh, up to six pieces. Do you remember why we're setting them up to six pieces? Okay. If you do, hopefully you remember that it is because of this LCD. So the least common denominator tells us exactly what we want to set it up to over here. This one's six to six. Well, that's already done, so I'm just going to recopy that one. But how do I get from three to six? Multiply or divide. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by two. Whatever I do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So two times two is four. Okay, got my equivalent fractions. All I've got left to do is to simplify. So four six plus one six. Remember, this is my new problem, the equivalent fractions that I just wrote. Okay, so 4, 6 plus 1, 6. If you have 4, 1, 6 pieces and you add one more 6 piece to you to it, you should end up with 4 plus 1 is 5. And what size are they? 6. So 5, 6 pieces is our answer. All right. 
Hopefully you're doing pretty good. Okay, let's try to add a couple. Let's try to do a couple more. Um, so you may have to go to the next page. Again, if you start to figure this out, go ahead and pause it. Work ahead of me. All right. All right. So problem number three. All right. So let's start off with one half plus one eighth. That'll be our new problem. So writing the problem out, one half plus one eighth. Go ahead and solve it if you can. Over here, we're going to go ahead and find the least common multiple or the least common denominator. And what is um, what are our two denominators? If you said 2 and 8, you're in good shape. So 2 and 8. Okay, so go ahead and list our multiples of 2 and 8. If you already see it, just write it down. But if you're not sure, go ahead and do this. 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh, there it is. 8. I'll go ahead and add one more. 16. So our least common multiple is 8. Let's go ahead and find equivalent fractions down here in the bottom box. So 1 half plus 1 eighth. Go ahead and set these up equal to eighth pieces because that is our least common denominator that we found up here. All right. 8 times 1 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. It's the same thing. 2 times what is 8? 4. And you can always go up here and count if you made the list. 1, 2, 3, 4. I know I have 4. And then 1 times 4 is 4. Here's our new problem. So over here we have 4 eighths plus 1 eighth equals 5 eighths. All right. And there's our answer to our problem. Getting easier, hopefully. Let's do another one, and then we'll do some... Um, subtraction ones. If you haven't done this one by yourself or done one by yourself, make sure you do this one by yourself first ahead of me. That way you can um, see where you're at. If I was drawing this paper, if I was doing this on my own paper, I wouldn't be writing those titles every single time. I would just draw the four squares and I would learn to memorize exactly what goes in each of these boxes. All right. So here is our new problem. Let's do one half plus two fifths. All right, so the first box is writing the problem. Okay, so if you have paused and came back, hopefully you've already had this done. If not, please make sure that you're trying this on your own first to see how far you can get on it. Okay, so over here we're going to find that LCM or LCD, whatever y'all want to call it, between two and five. Remember the reason we're picking 2 and 5? Because those are the denominators in our problem. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 5, 10. All right, so it looks like 10 is our least common denominator. So what goes here? Equivalent fractions, all right. 1 half plus 2 fifths. Now this one, we've neither one of these are tenth pieces, so we're going to have to set them both equal to tenth and do a little bit of math. Sweet. So setting them both equal to ten. All right. How do I get from two to ten? Multiply by five. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So one times five is five. Coming down here, five times what is ten? If you said 2, you're in great shape. 2 times 2 is 4. Again, here is our new problem. Right? So 5 tenths plus 4 tenths equals, yeah, 5 plus 4 is 9. What size pieces are there? They're tenth pieces. So we still have tenth pieces. So 9 tenths. If you got that one right, do a little celebration. What I'd like to show you now, real quick, is, is just a couple problems um, in which we're going to be using subtraction. 
Okay, so just using subtraction. That's the coolest part. If you know how to add, then subtraction is going to be the exact same way. All right, so let's get one of those. So I'm going to go back up to where it's listed here so you can have the problems written down. All right, so this subtraction problem, everything stays the exact same. So if we're going to write the problem, okay, so let's say we have one half minus one third. Okay, so again, over here in the box, find the LCM, or least common denominator, and I've got two and three. And remember, I got these from the same place I got it when I added. So two and three. Go ahead and make your list if you need to. Two, four, six, three, six. There it is. And I can always go more if I need to. Go ahead and find those equivalent fractions. Let's go ahead and set them up. So again, writing vertically, one half minus one third. And we're going to set them equal to six pieces. And so setting them equal to six pieces. Okay, so how do I get from three to six? Multiply by two. Whatever we do to the bottom, you do to the top. One times two, two. How do I get from two to six? Two times three is six. So I have to multiply the top by 3. And 1 times 3 is 3. Same as what we did when our, we did adding. This is our new problem. So we have 3 1 6 pieces. And we are subtracting 2 1 6 pieces. So 2 6 from that. What size pieces are they? Of course, they're 6 pieces. That doesn't change. And then we have 3 minus 2 is 1. And so our answer is 1 6. Exactly the same way, just subtracting instead of adding. All right, let's do one last problem. Again, try this one on your own. It will be subtract uh, subtracting just to see what you can do on your own. And then come back when you've got an answer. Here is your problem. Let's do five sevenths minus two thirds. And I'll pause for a minute while you do that. All right, so at this point, you should have an answer. Let's see if you got it right. So over here, we have to find the LCD or the LCM, and we're using 7 and 3. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, still going, 18, okay, and 21, oh, there it is. So 21 shh, matches with 21 right there. So our LCM is 21. Okay, so down here in the bottom, we have to write those equivalent fractions. So 5 sevenths minus 2 thirds, right? Go ahead and set those equal to 21st pieces. Just some tiny pieces. Okay, how do I get from 3 to 21? If you don't know that, you can always come up here and count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 times 7 is 21. 2 times 7 is 14. Right? 7 times what is 21? 3. 5 times 3 is 15. All right, so our new problem is 15 21st minus 14 21st. And our answer, 15 minus 14 is 1 and 21. So 1 21st. All right. Let me know how well you're doing. And um, I hope this helps. And I hope it makes it, this little format helps make it easy to understand and easy to get all the right steps.